Just before this video starts, I'd just like to say this is probably one of the best videos I've made in a very long time. I do recommend staying for the entire video. If you don't have the entire time of the video available, come back when you have because honestly, it's something you need to listen to if you want to understand exactly why Microsoft and PlayStation aren't working together 100% with the Better Together update. It goes into a variety of different topics from the actual marketing itself a little bit and it also touches mainly on the actual software within each console and why this is limited better together updates so stay tuned for the video i hope you've got the time to listen to it all and once again enjoy hey guys it's postbots pat and welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be talking about the best together update for playstation 4 probably the most asked question on my channel and on youtube related to minecraft recently so where is the PlayStation 4 Better Together version and also what is actually happening with it and why isn't it coming out? So it's a good question and many people ask it and tons and tons of people ask it and I get the question near enough every single day via Twitter and on Xbox and YouTube itself. So let's answer this question and kind of get into it and understand where we are coming from. So I've been reading around the internet on a few articles and basically the best article I found which gives us the most information is about a developer who works for Minecraft called Matt Booty. He actually works for Microsoft and he was an interview, as you can see on screen right now, this is the entire article. You can see there was an interview with it where Booty himself was actually talking to the game developers and he was saying eventually he believes he will express great confidence that Sony will join the Better Together train eventually, which is a great statement to make and I will go into this statement a little bit more on why I think they will join, but we will talk a little bit about why I think they may not join as well. So we've got that statement and we would probably like this to happen a bit sooner, but I feel positive about being able to make this work. So that's something he actually quoted and he said, Sony is a good partner and they are working with us on this. So by the looks of it, he knows that Sony is a good partner and he really wants them to join in with this. However, the reason I think Sony aren't going to join it, well, there's many reasons I'm going to get into that right now. So let's just take this back to a video I made a few days ago relating to crossplay on Xbox One and, X and PlayStation 4. Now that was actually a game called Fortnite. And this is also mentioned in the article, but I did mention it a few days ago on my Xbox or on my channel as well. And I did show huge evidence that it has been crossplayed. So let's go into a little bit more detail about this in general. The crossplay itself. Now, what I mentioned throughout that video was about having a user interface or an interface that can cope with both consoles. And the reason this game, Fortnite, allowed two consoles to play together on crossplay was because we were get connecting to a server. And this is what people aren't realizing. We were connecting to a server via our kind of separate account which is made with epic games fortnite that's the game that they're the company that makes fortnite so we had an account with epic games and that account was connecting to the server not our xbox account so our fortnite account was connecting to the servers of fortnite using our xbox display name that's all that was happening and the same was happening on the playstation side so technically there could have been two wide singer twos in the game if there's someone on playstation was in my game as well and that is the reason crossplay worked or accidentally got turned on for Fortnite because of that kind of issue with having the account on the actual game rather than having an actual Xbox account. And this is what I kind of am trying to get at. When it comes to Minecraft, there isn't actually an account that you have. We see that Minecraft itself, you need your Xbox account to play at the moment. So we are really stuck with it, and that is where we're kind of at with the crossplay stuff. And obviously, this is the side that PlayStation are saying no to. PlayStation don't want Xbox Live on their console, which makes perfect sense. If I was the developer of PlayStation or whatever I, if I worked for PlayStation, I wouldn't want Xbox's software or Xbox's accounts on my PlayStation. One, it wouldn't make any sense. Two, it would make your game a little dodgy. And it, or anything like that, you, your system would become a bit dodgy because you wouldn't really know how things work. You wouldn't know who to add, how gamer tags work. The gamer tag system works completely different. The achievement system, everything is just so different between each other. They, there's no way of having that Xbox profile on that software. So this is when it comes into an interface with inside the game, which allows you to log in, which the Better Together update does not have on console now on pocket edition yes you log into your microsoft account and it allows you to do it but sony doesn't want us logging into our microsoft accounts allowing us to play the game the better together version 
Now, what have I got to say about that? Now, the reason that is the case is obviously like I just said, but why could this be a little bit different if you could have the PlayStation login allowance on the Pocket Editions? So obviously when I go on my Pocket Edition version, it asks me to sign into my Xbox account, but if they introduced it, so PlayStation, you could also sign in with your PlayStation account instead, that kind of makes crossplay possible. And that's what I'm trying to get at. You could also have the PlayStation side of stuff, allowing access to the Switch, the Pocket Editions, and all the other versions bar the Xbox Edition. So the crossplay wouldn't be there between Xbox and PlayStation, but it would be there between Pocket Edition and PlayStation. Now, that is kind of what crossplay is currently at. We have crossplay between Pocket Edition and Xbox One and also Switch. Obviously, that's been delayed. I'll be making another video on that, talking more in depth about the Switch version because there's some cool details to that, which I'll be making a video on soon. But let's focus back on the PlayStation side. That is the problem. You cannot have the interfaces or the friends list or anything working unless they build an in-game interface, which isn't Microsoft account-based. And even if you make it both account-based, you will never be able to play with each other on the PlayStation and Xbox in a private game. However, you will be able to connect to servers. For example, what happened in Fortnite. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm trying to say here. It is quite complicated what I'm trying to get at. And I agree, it took me a while to word it and get it in my head. It's taken a while for me to work out exactly how it works. But let me just quickly brief summary for it. Basically, Fortnite, the reason you connect to that is because you're using a Fortnite account, an account made by Epic Games, which is linked to your gamertag, and that connects to the servers, that Fortnite account, and that displays your gamertag. Now, the reason PlayStation can't play with Minecraft crossplay is because it needs a Microsoft account. And obviously, PlayStation aren't going to want Microsoft's database or system or software or interface on their machine, allowing you to log into Microsoft on their machine, completely making people create Microsoft accounts, and they won't want that. So therefore, PlayStation aren't going to allow you to have that, and therefore, back together update, the cross-play stuff won't work, unless they allow, or Microsoft allow PlayStation to be a login, and then you will kind of have cross-play but there will not really be a way of inviting players on the PlayStation side to your private world. And, and that's the problem. That's why you need an in-game interface or an in-game login, which possibly is what they're looking at. But being able to suddenly change it because they already changed it to the Microsoft. When Microsoft purchased Minecraft, everything changed to a Microsoft login on the Bedrock Engine version. So not the Java edition, but on the Bedrock Engine version, everything changed to a Microsoft login. I noticed that myself because I used to have a Lifeboats account for the servers and I also used to have a separate Minecraft pocket edition login and that complete I logged on it like two years later and was like oh what's happened to all this I've lost my name I've lost everything and it's all disappeared so maybe I'm I'm a bit confused and then it suddenly said log in with your Microsoft account and there you are Microsoft took over and that was going back to the old method and maybe they might have to do that they might have to build an in-game interface where you can add friends on that but also be able to use your Microsoft interface and it is possible because as we see, Matt Booty himself, he is actually pushing it as hard as he can to get this to happen. And for this to happen, it's going to take a very long time. To be able to build that interface, it's difficult and confusing. Now, on the Nintendo side of stuff, who knows what's going on there? It has been delayed. And again, I will cover that in another video because that is a very interesting topic relating to interfaces and count details. When I say interfaces, I mean the actual software on the device that allows you to connect to friends. That's like the, des the desktop type thing, the type of software that's running on it and the way it works. I think this is quite an interesting topic recently within the community and not many YouTubers are bringing it up, understanding exactly why this isn't happening. But this is why what I'm saying I've said throughout this video is why it is not working so that is the problem we've got on the PlayStation side as we see Matt Booty himself he really wants it to happen and honestly I really want it to happen but it all becomes down to what they decide to do they can either do like I said have a PlayStation allow you to sign in with your PlayStation account on all devices bar the Xbox one and it will basically cross play apart from with the Xbox one the Xbox one will have to kind of only be able to crossplay with PlayStation on servers. And then on the PlayStation, on the Xbox side, you can also sign into your Xbox account that way and on things like that, so like Pocket Edition and stuff, but you will not be able to play with the PlayStation side on private servers. Or they could build an in-game interface where you create your new account type thing, like your Minecraft account. That's like a new account you use and it just displays your gamer tag from your either or your player name from your PlayStation or your gamer tag from your Xbox. And that was what it displays in the servers. However, that can cause duplicates. That's the problem with that. And 
yeah, we see that is another way of doing it as well if they build an in-game friend system, like a new account in the game. Now, some servers themselves actually have their own interface or their own friendship thing or whatever you want to call it, their own system. Because when you log on to Lifeboats, it gives you the option to add a friend and things like that. There's all these different weird things going on where you can have friends that way, which works very interesting and it, it's pretty cool, it works very well, but it's pretty dodgy and it just isn't as smooth as having someone, oh, there they are, they're online, invite to the party, invite to the game. Obviously, having them on a lifeboat, you can't really do that. And that's the problem we get at. So I really hope everyone has understood this video and honestly, it has been quite confusing for myself to explain this. If you guys are struggling again, I will make a better video on this and explain it even in more detail. It's taken a very long time for me to come up with the ideas and understand exactly why PlayStation aren't joining this. But honestly, what I'm saying throughout this video is near enough 90% correct of what they would have been saying or some of the things they would have been saying in their meeting with PlayStation. Obviously, they're going to talk about profits, marketing and all that sort of stuff as well. That also is to take into consideration. And honestly, I'm not going to make a video on all that because you guys probably aren't interested in the profits and the way Minecraft is marketed. But most of you will be interested in knowing why it's not working. And that is the main reason which I've just gave you just then. So hopefully with a little bit of luck in the future, we can possibly see crossplay coming. And near enough, I reckon 75% chance of it happening to PlayStation 4. I did predict a long time ago it would come. And as we can see, it's clearly being developed and it's clearly being worked on. Yes, PlayStation 4 Better Together is running on it. And the software itself does run on PlayStation 4, the programming for the game. But, however, there is that Xbox side of stuff where you have to sign into your account of things, and that is what's causing it to be not available. And why it is, it's, it's just a general problem. It's not PlayStation's fault. They're not decli they are declining, and the reason that they're declining for is because of that. It's not because of whatever you see the officials say. That is the main reason behind the scenes. They don't want Microsoft stuff on their device. Because in, in an ideal world, or an ideal situation, when you go to the shop, what do you see? PlayStation, Xbox. They're the two ones, two main competitors. They don't want them joining together. Or then the, ga then the game companies are going to be like, uh, we don't really have much competition here. And without competition leads to less profits and all that sort of stuff. So I don't want to go into a huge economic type of debate about it because I could do within <laughs> without Minecraft itself. But that is one of the main reasons. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. It has been a very long video. It's been a very interesting video. And I do think this could possibly happen in the future. 75%, 80% certain it will. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, like I just said. It really does help out the channel. We're trying to grow to 30,000 subscribers as quick as possible. So let's see if we can do that. And once again, this is Postbots Pat, signing out.